is up? What is good, everyone? Welcome to another video. You can see it's slightly hazy and a little bit overcast, but we're walking around here, trying to see what we can turn up. It's just in the greatest city of Cape Town. It's not blazing hot, so hopefully there'll be a couple of animals out. But on the other hand, hopefully we don't get rained out by those guys. And we just got our first amphibian of the day. Here is a nice little harem reed frog. So if you can't get a closer look, we just zoomed in a little bit. That's when we are fully zoomed out, but just sitting here in the rather drab conditions. They're obviously nocturnal, so once nightfall comes, it'll sort of hop around, probably go a little bit further in. If there's a bit of moisture and start calling and doing all the thing. But I'm gonna grab a quick picture of this. It's sitting really nice. It'll make for a nice photograph. So let's get on that. So here's a cool little find. There's a Tetradactylus seps, a short-legged seps. It's quite cool and overcast. And he's just basking on this little mole heap. You can see he's missing quite a bit of his tail. And these guys are usually quite skittish and they usually dash off at the first sign of seeing you. But obviously now that it's a bit cooler, he's pretty chilled. Let's see if I can't get a nice eye net record shot. I'm not going to catch him, I'm just going to let him do his thing. Grab a couple of in-situ pictures too. Well, despite the site being absolutely destroyed and just flipped to oblivion and none of the cover flipped back by, I don't know exactly who, um, we just just managed to flip two brown water snakes. I didn't even see that one. But have a go at that. We just got a double flip. Two hatchling brown water snakes. These guys are absolutely tiny. Um, I just grabbed this one because he's getting away. But I'll grab a quick record shot of the first one. And hopefully the second one will just sit there and I'll be able to replace the cover. Let's just say better look at this tiny brown water snake. You can see this animal's probably not older than a a couple of weeks at the most. They're interesting little species that are really adaptable. They'll eat tadpoles, they'll actively hunt tadpoles in the water. They'll also hunt down little frogs. And when they get slightly bigger, um, they've even been known to eat nesting birds. Yeah, very cool to get some snakes on the board. I wasn't very hopeful for the site. I mainly came here just for some frogs and some chameleons because, yeah, the site has been absolutely destroyed unfortunately. So yeah, let me release this guy and we're going to keep on going. I just want to take a quick minute to thank Sir TV who just did a super thanks on the last video. Enabled me to get a new wireless lovelier microphone which should help in the windy conditions. I know a lot of people complain about the audio on the videos but when you're shooting with an iPhone in the bare minimum that's what you're going to get. So thank you so much and I really appreciate the support. So let's go back to finding some herb. So I was beginning to think I was losing my sort of sight to find chameleons. I just spotted one here. You can see as the sun comes out, that little one's right in the center of the frame. And I cast my eyes away from that. And let's see if you can see it. Right over there is another one. So he's a little bit more cognito. But let's see if we can't get a better look at them. So while I was telling you about that chameleon over there, I just looked up there and there is a beautiful one. Have a look at the colors on that one. They've probably been displaying. You can see that those are colors of not a happy chameleon. But you can see now that the sun's come out, they're really enjoying a bit of the sun. But let me photograph these little guys quick. So you can see I was just forming those chameleons over there and something just caught my eye in this little bush here and we've got another really tiny, well not a really tiny, it's an adult, an arum lily frog just sitting in here amongst his flowers. I'm not going to disturb it, I'll just grab a quick reference shot. It seems like this little corner was really busy, we've got three chameleons and a frog right here. You guys know the drill, how I love sifting through these mole heaps trying to find legless lizards and dwarf barring skinks and frogs so 
We'll scratch around in a couple of Another common occurrence of scratch around in these loose sand piles. This is a young Cape Leg skink, Contius meliagris. Um, we see quite a lot of these on the channel. Um, but you'll see as soon as you pop them into the sand, they do this really ridiculous burrowing act. Um, so yeah, as quickly as he appeared, you know, once he finds the soft sand, they just disappear. Pretty nifty for a little animal without legs. Check, there it goes, slinking into the sand. Very cool. So we're just doing the same thing, flipping logs. It is relatively dry now, so sometimes you just have to scratch around in the bottom, in the base layer, and just see. We just flipped another amphibian for the day. We got a beautiful western lepidote over here. Have a look at the, oh, he's on the run. Beautiful markings. Uh, we're going to try to turn this log over, get a decent look at him. So I don't mind actually snap a photograph of him. I haven't photographed a leopard in a while. So let me put this log down. Oh, there we go. Zoom in there. Beautiful looking toads. You can see. Not a very big specimen, but we will photograph it none the same. Here's a better look at that little western leopard toad. One of the endangered species of toad in the... Well, the only endangered species of toad in the greater city of Cape Town. You can see just once again, I know, well, <laughs> and he, there he goes. So he's probably had just about enough of me. I'm going to pop his log back and see if he can't turn up anything else. I've actually got some nice tunnels in here. Let me grab the camera and I'll bring you guys along quick. This one does look good. So... That's just what I was talking about, having the tunnels. I don't know if that's from the rain fog. But it does look pretty good. You can see just how dry it is. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Have a look at that. There is our rain frog. You can just see it at the bottom there. He will gently touch him. Expose Rivers Ipscobosis. The Cape Brain Frog. Let me dig him out for you quick. So here is that Cape Brain Frog. Gently try to strip the soil away from him. Oh, her, it's actually quite a big individual. You don't want to um, destroy its burrow. We'll be able to pop it straight back in there. Let me give you guys a look at it. Okay, it's not such a big one. And there we go. The brain fog, or six bosses. Let's give you guys a closer look at it. These uh, species of brain fog, well, the whole genus, in fact, they're not a very active species. They don't move very much, they don't walk very much, they don't run, just generally don't do much at all. So we don't want to disturb this guy too much. So I'm just going to turn him around and pop him back in his burrow. Let me just pop him back in his burrow. Cover him with his soil a little bit. And then he should just be good to go. Now obviously just took his log and placed it gently back so he's all covered up. 